recording, right? Maybe we are. Yes. All right. What's up, guys? This is Trigger here, and um, I haven't done a tutorial in quite some time here, and this one I thought was pretty important uh, to actually, you know, help you guys with. Um, this one is in regards to an Elgato HD60 where you have um, lag between. Um, well, for instance, my microphone hooked up into my computer. That's the only reason why I'm using the camera right now. Normally, I don't have to use a camera, but for this tutorial, for the sake of this, get out of my face. Yeah, get, get out of my face. But anyway, um, <laughs> so for this tutorial, I'm showing you the lag between when I talk going into my microphone and when it actually syncs up with the video coming from the video and audio feed coming from the Elgato. Now, you guys are probably wondering what I'm gonna what are wondering what I'm talking about. What I'm gonna do is real quick. Let me just show you my setup that I have here. So, right here we have. Let me try and talk to the microphone so you can hear me still. So right here we have the ah the tripod hooked to my thing. <laughs> All right. So right here we have the Behringer uh, Q1202 mixer. Um, my MXL 990 condenser mic right here, and then, of course, my new custom-built computer that I just built, like, in November. Um, that's my setup that I use for streaming. Now, the only reason why I'm showing you this is because I want to, uh, inform you that I'm not actually using, like, some people, most people use the microphone, and they hook it up straight to the PlayStation 4. Me, on the other hand, I actually have it processing through my computer. I have it hooked directly to the USB port on my computer. So the difference is, when you have a hook to the PS4, if I were to do that, I'd be just peachy. I'd just hook up the Elgato and phew, right away you're good to go. But in my case, because I have it hooked, my microphone hooked up to my computer instead of the PS4, there's a delay because the audio and video from the Elgato is still getting processed. It's still getting encoded through a USB 2.0 connection, so it's a lot slower. So there's going to be a delay. Now, I'm going to show you guys how to fix that delay. Um, what I'm going to do is in this next clip, I'm going to go now. And when I go now, when I say now, I'm going to duck. Now, I'm going to show you the delay that there's going to be. You're gonna, it's going to be a pretty noticeable delay. And I'm going to show you guys how to fix it. So, stay tuned. Okay, so here we are in game, uh, looking around and everything. And I, I still have to go collect my reward and turn in this. All right, so <laughs> I'll do that later on. Um, all right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go now and I'm gonna kneel now when I say it right now When I say now and kneel it's gonna be synced up in real in real life, but in the recording you're gonna see a delay so watch I'm gonna kneel Now And I'm standing up now I'm gonna show you what that actually looks like Okay, so here we are again. Um, we're back in the desktop here, and this is the recording that I just took. Now, watch what I meant when I said there's a delay. Watch. I'm gonna kneel. Now. And I'm standing up. Now. now I'm gonna show you. So notice how big of a delay that was. Now, that was at least a good half a second. Um, it doesn't seem like a lot. A half a second doesn't seem like a lot at all. But when there's a lot of stuff happening in your live stream or recording and you're trying to sync everything up, that can get really, really annoying because it's not going to sync up with your voice. So you're going to sit there and freak out about something and in your video or live stream or whatever, nobody's going to know what you're freaking out about until like a half a second later, which again doesn't seem like a lot, but in terms of live broadcasting or a live feed, it is a lot. So I'm going to show you guys how to fix this. So... Here we go. All right, so what's up, guys? I'm back. Now, um, I'm going to show you guys how to actually fix this. And by the way, my OBS is on my second monitor, but I'm going to move it over here for the sake of this tutorial. So, now you guys saw how big of a delay that was. That's going to get really annoying, especially, like I said, in any sort of video recording or live stream, especially. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how to fix that. Now, again, it's a really easy fix. Most of you guys would right away go to your Elgato HD60. Technically, you could do that, but here's the only problem. With the HD60 settings, you're only going to be able to change the buffer time, which is actually what you would change to change the time of the video and everything. <coughs> Sorry. You would, uh, you would initially use that to change the time of the video. 
However, making this a larger number, <coughs> sorry, making this a larger number is going to make it a longer delay. There's going to be a longer delay from when you actually talk to the actual video popping up. So that's not really what you want. Um, right here, this is just going to offset the video. So in essence, you're going to have your microphone offset from your video and the video's audio is going to be offset from the video. So these would not be the proper settings at all. Now, here's uh, where you actually want to go. So you're going to go to settings. You're going to go to settings again. And you're going to go to audio. Now, right away, most of you guys are going to be looking at this. This is what you're actually going to be messing with. This is one variable that you have to mess with. Now, keep in mind, I'm going to tell you now. When I stream, I don't use PlayStation Party, okay? I use Skype. So all of my friends, all of my friends that you're hearing in, in the chat and everything, that's they're on Skype. Um, mainly because I really don't like the quality of PlayStation Party. I'm more of a fan of Skype or Raid Call, TeamSpeak, something like that. So, right here, you could change this. If you're streaming by yourself, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stress that out. If you're streaming by yourself, you could just change this and you'll be good to go. Um, all you have to do is make this a different variable. So the variable I used, and it worked really well, was 390. Now, I used 400, there was a slight, eh, it was slightly ahead, my voice was slightly ahead of it, so I just bumped it back a little bit. So, that's one variable. Again, if you're streaming by yourself, like a horror game, or if you're recording by yourself, you know, whatever, that's cool. You just change that, and your voice will sync up. Now, what happens if you're in a Skype call, and you want to capture everybody else? Well, here's the thing. If you just change this variable, it's going to sound like you're psychic. It's going to sound like your friends are psychic, because if you crack a joke or something, and they start laughing... Because you delayed your microphone here, in your broadcast, they're going to start laughing for no reason, and then they're going to hear you telling a joke like a half a second later. So it's going to be really, really annoying and really awkward for you. <laughs> so what you're going to do now is go to Advanced. Now the Advanced tab is where all the magic is going to happen, okay? So right here is where you're going to change it, okay? Audio. Now this actually, I, for some reason, don't ask me why you have to change this variable, but you do. Um, you have to force desktop audio to use video timestamps as base for audio time. Don't ask me why, but that, when I unchecked it, it didn't sync up right. So, again, make sure you check that. And right here, global audio sync offset, that right there is the big key for syncing up your desktop's audio. This is going to, this is going to pretty much take everything that's coming into your desktop right now, all the audio, and it's going to delay that. So your Skype call, your music, all that, you're still going to hear all that in life, a lifetime. Like, this isn't going to affect your computer. Like, it's not going to delay them even farther or whatever. It's just for broadcasting purposes. It's going to encode this at a different rate. You see what I'm saying? So this, you're also going to set to 390. You want to match that. You want to match this number and this number up so that you and your audio are synced up. Now, because you change these, it's going to delay that. So now, the feed that's coming from the Elgato should sync up. Now, it might not be perfect. Now, think, okay, keep in mind also of the specs of my computer. My computer is very beefy, okay? So it might actually be a bigger number for you. Instead of 390 for the, uh, for the audio right there, instead of 390 for these two, oh, where is it? For that and that, it might be... 400 or it might be less even if you have a good sound card or something or if you have a faster computer or something like that you know it could be 380 or 360 or something like that 370 somewhere around there or it could be all the way up to 600 i mean it depends that's all dependent on your computer so now what i'm going to do here is i'm going to stop this recording and i'm going to record another clip with these settings changed and again another thing i, I have to remind you guys a lot of the time is I just made these changes, it's not going to take into effect right now. If I were to record on the Elgato, it wouldn't, it wouldn't change it at all. It would still be a lag. Because in order for this to work, you have to stop recording or stop streaming and re-record or, re or kick up your stream again. Because any software, pretty much any software, if you make changes to it, to the, to the settings itself, you have to restart it in order for some of the settings to 
take effect. Like, a lot of PC games are like that. You make settings to it, you have to restart the game in order for it to actually take into effect. So, uh, I'm going to stop the recording here. I'm going to re-record another clip. And I'll show you guys what happens. Okay, now let me just resize this real quick. This does this whenever you go into the properties. For some reason, the Elgato, it keeps resizing it. Okay, so here we are, back in game, turn around and all that fun stuff. Now, here we go. This is another test. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna kneel, I'm gonna say now, and it should sync up with no problem. So here we go. We're gonna kneel, now. And we're gonna stand up, now. Okay? Now that second one, I kind of said now a little earlier, but uh, let's try this again. Now? What? Yeah, yeah, okay. Ready? Now? And now. Okay. So, let's see how this looks. Okay, so here we go. We're going to uh, see how this turned out. Oh, we're going to kneel. Now. And we're going to stand up. Now. Okay. So, you can see right there that it was a pretty big improvement, actually. Uh, it's a, actually, that's pretty much spot on. So, again, for those of you guys having that lag problem right there, literally make changes to those two settings right there, and you'll be good. So, um, that's actually pretty much that for this tutorial. I hope it helps you guys out. Again, just change those two settings, and again, like I keep saying, I'm going to keep stressing this. If, it does, if you make changes while you're recording, while you're previewing, or while you're streaming, stop everything altogether, and then start it back up again after you make the changes, because it's not going to accept the changes unless you actually stop the program. So, all right. So that's uh, that's it for this tutorial. I hope it helps you guys out. If it did, please feel free to leave a like. Um, comments are you know open for whatever. If you guys need some more help, tell me in the comment section. Or go to one of my social networks, uh, Twitter, Facebook, etc., etc. Um, I also have G2A. If you guys like, uh, if you guys want to help me out, you can buy some games off of G2A. If I get enough, I can actually start giving off discounts for games and help you guys get a little, little off on a game there, and it'll help me out still. So um, go there. Of course, watch my live streams. This right here is actually part of my live stream. And yeah, so that's about it. So thanks again guys for watching. I hope this guy I hope this helped. And I will see you guys hopefully in my next live stream and my next video. So I am Tria and I'm out.